on board. He said this would be fun. I did not. He said you just needed some help. That's all. Oh, no, you, you are. You're helping. You're helping all right. It won't be long. Just hold on. It won't be long at all, I promise. You said that an hour ago. And I paid you 300 up front. That's a pretty good hourly rate. I just need you to say exactly what I told you. Oh no! I am lost. I hope everything will be all right. Who are we waiting for anyway? You'll know it when you see it. It? Wait. I'm not in any danger or anything, am I? You said we were just playing a joke on a friend of yours. We are. You're completely safe, nothing to worry about. He's going to get a real blast out of this. A real blast. Susie. Susie. You son of a bitch! Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Charlotte Reeves. Over there, with the rest of them. She'll be alone. But... Yeah? What are you doing out here? That's my business. That's what they said. I told them and I'll tell you. Watch your back. Hi, I'm Buddy. Are all of us waiting for Charlotte Reeves? I'm Lou. Guess we're here for the same reason. Lou, huh? Yeah, Lou. You got a problem with that? What? Lou can only be a man's name, is that it? Then because I happen to have boobs, I can't be named Lou? Listen, I'm not trying to start anything. When you hear the name Lou, you think of this big burly person. Oh, I think I'm big enough to be a Lou. 
Um, I got this letter from the Charlotte person saying she knew something about the death of my brother. Yeah, I got the same thing by my Aunt Lou. Wait, your name's Lou and you have an Aunt Lou? It's a family name. We got about a dozen Lou's running around back home in Jersey. How do you keep that straight? We use nicknames. What's yours? Lou, weren't you listening? God, you're dense. Quit staring at my chest. It appears we all lost someone. Mine was my dad. He, uh, went camping out here some time ago, and that was the last we ever heard of him. That's, um, Charlotte. Person says she knows what happened to him. I'm Colonel Ralph Sanders. Colonel Sanders. Yeah. Who did you lose? No one. Ever. He's with me. I see we're all here. Are you Bobby Counts? I'm Bobby Counts. Sorry, wasn't trying to be unsociable. I wasn't sure what was going on over here. And I didn't want to get too close to all that right there. <laughs> Might make me drown in my own drool, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Who are you? I'm Charlotte Reese. My dad, you see me down there? One at a time. Tell these people the truth. I am, I will. I'm Buddy Hold Tyson. On. You wrote me this letter about my brother. What, are now, we doing introductions again? Listen, lady, I want to know what happened to my Aunt Lou. Aunt Lou? Oh, you weren't what I was expecting. <laughs> what, you think because I have boobs I can't be named Lou? I got him right here. Now, what happened to my aunt? Do you know any, do you know anything? This, this is my dad. Is he still alive? I'll, I'll pay you whatever you want. I'm sorry, I don't have him. He's gone. He doesn't feel God. He doesn't feel God! I know exactly what you're going through. I lost my entire family out here. But I got an idea what killed them. No one here believes me. What do you mean, what killed them? Are we talking about bears or something? <laughs> There are no bears in these woods. How do you know? He's right. This was no ordinary animal attack. This was different. How is this different? What are you talking about? I told you. If I tell you what I think, you'll think I'm crazy. Too late! There was a family that was killed here a few weeks ago. I know the site where they were. And that's what I need to show you all. Did any of you bring any weapons? Are you kidding? I got my guns. You're crazy. I'm not going anywhere. Just tell me what happened to my bro- I'm serious. If I could tell you, I would. But you'll have to see it for yourself. You're crazy. I'm not going anywhere until I know what happened. Then stay here. The rest of us, we're going across the lake. Are you coming? Do you know where he died? I think so. Then I'm going. I'm going to say goodbye. We've got backpacks and camping supplies over in the store. I got everything I need at Sundog Outfitter in Damascus, Virginia. For the rest of you, we got backpack and camp supplies over in the store. You people are nuts. I'm calling the cops. Maybe they'll get you to talk. Hey, wait, wait. Let hey, me go. Oh, hold on. I just want to talk. I'm not going with her or any of them. I get it. I get it. That's probably the right call. But, but what? Stan wants to say goodbye to his dad. I'm going to go with him. I own that. His dad and I were friends for a very long time. And no matter what I say, he's going to go out there across that lake with that flake of a girl. Yeah, I know she's a loon. Thing is, I have two very nice weapons. And Stan, I wouldn't give anybody in his condition so much as a pea shooter. You seem to have more sense than anybody else here. Why don't you come across the lake with me? Help me get these people back safely. I just met you, and you want to give me a gun. You're as crazy as she is. No argument. But I read people for a living, son. And I know you can help me get these people back safely. My question is, will you? I'll get the guns.
did you check out the uh, ass on that Charlotte chick? <sighs> Wouldn't mind walking behind her for a while, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, and the boobs on that Lou chick. Whew, she can feed me any day. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah, I'm right. I lost my dad too. After what happened to my brother out here. He couldn't take it. <laughs> my dad was awesome. At least I think he was awesome. He was always away with Ralph. You mean Colonel Sanders? Yeah. <laughs> I call him Ralph. He's been my dad's best friend for years. I hardly got to know him. They always traveled the world together. Sounds nice. No, I wouldn't say that. Yes, they're real. They're mine and they're real, you freaking jerk. How to find out, you know. Science. going? It's going back. She'll be back in two days. Two days? What are you worried about? You're a big girl. You've got a gun. Yeah, I am a big girl. Don't you forget it. Right, a girl need a cab? First of all, I'm a woman, okay? I got the frickin' chest to prove it. Yes, we are all aware of that. Very aware. And secondly, no, I don't need a cab. I can walk. I just don't understand when we're stomping around like we're in the army or something. What, are we frickin' ants or something? Hey, don't ask, don't tell, right? <laughs> Finally, why don't you try taking a walk around my neighborhood sometime? And we'll see who goes home in a cab. Where are we going? I already told you. The family was killed here a few weeks ago. We're going there. Why won't you tell me what you're thinking? You wouldn't believe it even if I told you. And if you ever put your hands on me uninvited again, you will never touch anyone again. Buddy! 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 Oh, hey, man, I, I was thinking if we're gonna be out here all night, we should probably bunk together, right? I mean, it'll be Lou and Charlotte, Stan and Sanders, and you and me. Seems right, right? I have my own tent. Oh, yeah, me too! I mean, you know, I just didn't want to accidentally walk into the girls' room, you know, and with hormones and my rage and fever, you know?
want you all to follow my path across the river. It's tricky here, so watch your step. What did I just say? What? It's dangerous. I can see the freaking hole. Okay. Everyone else, follow me. Where's Lou? You uh, got a little something nice for me, you know, to remember our first time together. You did? Really? Real pearls? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, my baby niece just got here, and uh, I'm getting ready to say some things to you that are uh, kind of smoking hot, and I don't want her young virgin ears to hear them, okay? Yeah, let me call you back, okay? That's right. Uh-huh. All right, bye-bye. <sighs> Thank God you got here when you did. I hate to be on the phone with that clown for more than 15 minutes. Aren't you going on a trip with him? Well, yeah, but uh, unfortunately it's gonna be my uh, <clears throat> time of month. Know what I mean? What do you need, short stuff? Well, Mom's freaking out. I got asked to the prom and so she, she told me to come to you. You damn well should. You should never listen to your mother. No. No, she was terrible with the man. God bless her. Always gave it up to these guys with, you know, a nice complexion and a sweet tongue. And they were all losers. Uh, no offense to your father, but dear. She says the exact same thing. That's well, why she wanted me to come to you. Yeah, you should. The first thing we need to know is uh, what we got to work with. All right, all right, let's see. All right, yeah, yeah, you got nice hair. You got nice hair, let's work with this. Yeah, it's long. Yeah, some guys, some guys really like long hair. Yeah, you need to wear that down. That looks, that looks nice, yeah. Oh, honey, you gotta let the girls out. I'm telling you, I mean, guys see cleavage? And they lose control of the wallets. Yeah, and they lose control of about everything else, too. <laughs> These girls of mine, they've taken me around the world. Mm-hmm. And not on my dime. Mm-hmm. Remember that. Yeah, maybe, um... Uh, I might see about some enhancements there. Yeah, I don't know. We'll think about it. We'll work on that. Okay, now I'm getting ready to tell you the most important thing of all. But you gotta be listening. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. No, I mean, real seriously. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. No, I'm not I'm, gonna tell you if you're not listening. I'm listening. Okay. You never, ever show any kind of weakness to a man. You got that? Never? Never, no! A man opens a door for you, you walk through it, you never say thank you. I don't even thank him? No, that is weakness. A man opens a door for you, it's as natural as, uh, natural as it can be, right? It's like, it's as natural as breathing. You don't thank anybody for breathing now, do you? No. Exactly. Let him know his place. You let a man see what he can have, sister. Show him what you've got as much as you can. But you never let him get it until he comes to you on your terms. But... What if he's really nice and dreamy and just the sound of his voice makes you weak in your knees? Uh, no! Never! Never! I don't care if your panties hit the floor when he comes in the room. I don't care if he saves your life. You never say thank you to a man. You never show weakness. Otherwise, you're going to end up just like your mother. One loser after the other. Uh, 
no offense to your father. It's okay. All right. I mean, kid, have I ever steered you wrong? No. Wasn't it good advice when I told you to carry a pistol everywhere? Oh, yeah. All right, come here. Yeah, hug your auntie. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna take you shopping this week. I'm gonna buy you a corset. Get those puppies out there a little bit. Yeah, see how that works. And uh, if it doesn't, I know a guy. You know a lot of guys. Oh, you bet I do, honey. You bet I do. All of them successful. No losers for me. Not like your mother. No offense to your father. I could have sworn she would have floated. Why? Those big flotation devices she had. You know what I'm saying? Almost there. Stan's not used to all this hiking and yeah, Lou's about to fall flat on her airbags. What? Is that the question you really want to ask? No, but it'll do. Not gonna ask me if I'm lost? If a little girl like me can't make it through the forest? <laughs> I know better than that. I've been watching you. We could have got tangled up back there for hours, but you read those game trails perfectly. So no, that's not my question. I keep telling you, you won't believe me. I'm a hunter. I've seen a thing or two in the woods. Things that walk on two legs but aren't quite human. <coughs> yeah, now who's got the unasked questions? There's a river about half a mile away. That's where we're going. All right, come on, Stan, we're almost there. What the freak? Hey, Sanders. Scratches, something big. Yeah, I saw those on a few other trees back there. Bears? I already told you there are no bears in these woods. Yeah, but those scratches Listen, look like something. 30 years ago, hunters wiped out every bear around this lake, in the woods by the shore, and on the islands like this one. People were dying, just like now, but then they blamed it on the bear. Bears never came back. Yeah, then what are these? They're not bears. Marks are all wrong. Listen, we're wasting our time if we're chasing something out here that can't possibly exist. We're likely to miss what's really going on, so I want you all to repeat after me. There are no bears in these woods. Is he serious? There are no bears in these woods. Louder. Everybody this time. There are, there are no bears in these woods. Buddy. There are no bears in these woods. There are no bears in these woods. Good. Now we can find out what's really going on. Charlotte? Stop signal. What stop signal? We're in the middle of the frickin' woods. This stop signal. Oh, I thought you were having some kind of spasm. You're a spasm. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means stand still and shut the hell up. Seriously, my aunt had a spasm just like that. I think it's time you told everyone here what's going on. Okay. It's a killer. Supernatural in nature. Oh, come on. Shh. It stands at least six feet tall. Right. And it's covered in feathers. Say it. Say it loud. It's a... Say it. It's a were rooster. Are you serious? A were rooster. 
A were rooster. A were rooster. <laughs> really? Are you freaking kidding me? A freaking chicken. No. A were rooster. You bastard! You bastard! You killed my dad! What's he talking about? Did you know this thing was here? No, I did not know. Liar! I didn't know. I did suspect. Oh, I knew it! Hey, he came out here on his own. He made his own decision. You and your damned hunts. What's he talking about? I originally made my fortune in internet stocks. Ha! Oh. Then I found my thrills in other places. Found him hunting uh, an exotic game. Such as? Werewolves, chupacabras, vampires. This is freaking bullshit. I'm freaking tired of this. You're all freaking nuts. Why do you do that? Do what? Say freaking all the time. I promised my mother I'd stop cussing. You just said bullshit. That's not cussing. Pretty sure it is. Yep. Yeah, it's cussing where I come from. I'm sick and tired of your crap. So freak you, freak you, freak you, and freak you. Freak all your mother freaking freakers and your mother freaking asses. Asses is cussing too. I am done. I'm heading back to the boat dock. The boat's not coming back for two days. Two days with you people? I'll use my gun on myself or you. You forgot to say freaking gun. <sighs> Try to stay dry this time. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What if there are bears? There are no bears! I'm sorry, I just don't see how everyone could be so sure. If I was a bear, I would live right here. Well, this isn't a bear. But we should still post a lookout. This thing is as smart as a human and as vicious as a chicken. Vicious as a chicken? Yeah. If you've ever seen a chicken with a worm, you'll know what I'm talking about. and look at her fingers and those things yeah it's I knew those were fake they just sat right up there you know like um, balloons what happened chicken shit the woman's dead Sanders calling her names isn't gonna help anything no look Giant chicken shit. Ah. It's acidic as hell. You get a glass with that stuff. It's fresh. I don't see any tracks around. It must have just flown away. I thought chickens couldn't fly. Well, they can glide. Regular ones can anyway. It's the size of a man. It can go 50, 60 feet. We should go back to camp. Someone's got to bury Lou. In an hour, there won't be anything left to bury. Come out. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. He killed her. No, it wasn't me. It was the rooster. So you saw it? No, I got here right after. So you were following us. Why? 
because of her. I knew she was onto something, but a were rooster? I had no idea. It's a jackpot. What are you talking about? Look, they're all over the place. It's a gold mine. Now they're just feathers. They're not just any feather. These are the feathers of a were rooster. It's only the rarest supernatural creature on Earth. These feathers are priceless in concoctions from love potions to untraceable poisons. Oh my God, they're everywhere. I'm gonna be rich. Well, it looks like you're allergic to them. No, no. The fates wouldn't be that cruel. Looks like cruel is what they do best. Come on, let's get back to camp. Your friends can't help. His dad meant the world to him. I still can't get my head around this. A were rooster. How's that even work? Well, most of your were creatures, it's a curse. It happens more often than you think. It could be anything. Nasty look at a passing gypsy woman. You could wander into a graveyard haunted by ghost pirates. Witch doctors in the Caribbean. But mostly it's just sex with animals. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. What are we doing? We're setting up camp. You know what I mean, Why aren't we hunting this thing down and killing it? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing myself. And Lou's dead back there. We're acting like this is some sort of camp out. We're being watched. How can you tell? See this knife? Yeah. I got this off an aboriginal shaman in Australia and walk about looking for the rainbow serpent. It glows blue and something supernatural is nearby. I'm betting it's our weir rooster. He won't show himself yet. Keep doing what we're doing. Set up camp, act normally, wait for it to come to us. And set a trap and set a trap. Hey buddy, give me a hand here. What are you looking for? Something in particular. This is supposed to be my sister's campsite, right? There's no sign of her here. There's no clothes or possessions. It's like she wasn't even here. Are you sure this is the right place? I'm sure. I was with the group that found them after they were murdered. I was the one that noticed all the feathers. Me too. I was here. We didn't find any clothes or anything. Just a lot of blood. I mean a lot. <sighs> Must have rained since then. There isn't much left. But it was everywhere. You should have seen it. There was a whole bunch right over here. And then there was that puddle about six inches deep. It was right over there. Remember that? What? You remember that? You were there? <laughs> in the world, I thought I put all those feathers in little baggies. <laughs> I think I'm allergic to you. little brother. It won't always be like this. One day things will change, and on that day, I'll dance at your wedding. In your yellow shoes. In my yellow shoes. I'm sorry about that guy. He doesn't have much of a heart. No, he doesn't. She was important to you? We were inseparable. She stood by me during a very bad time. 
Yeah, family's like that. No, not family. Just her. I see. I know what you mean. Sometimes I still feel my family all around me. See them out of the corner of your eye. Hear a laugh light and high above the crowd. See a pair of yellow shoes and think she's right next door. My sister's laugh was just like that. She always wore yellow shoes. Then maybe she's not as far away as you think. Maybe. Thanks for listening. You're kind of all right for a smoking hot babe. Thanks, I guess. Maybe we can discuss it later when we share a tent? Uh, yeah, when we're making out and all that. You know, I'm not sure we'll be talking so much, especially when I'm rubbing those big boobs of yours. Oh, I'm sure we'll find some other use for my tongue when that happens. Oh, um, wait. Um, Buddy said he wanted to bed down with me while we were walking, so wow. I'd hate to bring my word to him at all. Sure. Look at this place. The trees are dead. The leaves are falling. I mean, camp is right over that hill. And it looks like we stumbled into winter. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? What do you mean? It's just what we're looking for. Supernatural always affects the natural. Warps it, distorts it. You saw what that chicken shit did to Lou. The rooster likes this place. It's been here a lot. These are the effects. It's really actually no wonder that family got killed near here. They stumbled on its territory. Come on, help me. Ah, over here. If this works, and we catch this thing, what are you going to do to it? Well, this rope trap won't last forever. Hopefully long enough for us to come back and blow this thing to smithereens. You're okay with that? Yep. Is there a problem? Yeah, I think you're focusing on the rooster part a little much and forgetting what wear means. Wear is a man. Yeah. But in these things, the man just makes it more dangerous. What do you mean? Well, you take the power of a chicken, its talons, its beak, its survival instinct. You marry it with the intellect of a human, but you take away the kindness, the compassion. You bring a human down to its baser instinct, and you got a monster. And yeah, I'm all right with killing a monster. What if? What if we could reason? Are you kidding me? You can't be serious. This thing killed your brother. But if he didn't know what he was doing... How does that help your brother? Isn't he still dead? Doesn't that matter? Yeah. It matters. Dad? Did you eat? Did you do anything today? Dad, this has got to stop. I miss him too, but you can't just... He wouldn't want you to do this to yourself. You need to get out of the house. Go to work, go see a movie, do something. You can't just sit here. Work? You think that would help? It couldn't hurt. 
You just have to do something. Okay. Well, Dad, I'm going to go. I've got to get back and uh, do... There you go. Is this just better? Better than you sitting at the table. I don't feel better. I don't feel better! Father should never outlive one of his sons. Yeah, yeah I think I'm just gonna juggle the bullets now. No, the bullets, what the? no you're not gonna juggle the bullets! telling you, man, when you finally get to put a bullet in the thing that killed your brother, oh, there's nothing like it. When we found out this thing was out here, Stan's dad was so excited he could hardly stand it. What? Huh? You told Stan you only suspected it was a wearer. Yeah. You did. You just said you knew about it. Ah, uh, no, I misspoke. I mean, what I said before, we only heard rumors. Uh, yeah. Help me uh, find a counterweight. All right. I'm starving. Let's get something to eat. Good. I'm not even going to ask what's in it. Probably a wise move. The secret is the herbs and spices. How long do we have to wait for this thing? Who knows? I thought you were the expert. I am. I've hunted things you wouldn't imagine. And most of the time it is a waiting game. You ever kill a werewolf? Three. All in Scotland. The place is crawling with them. What exactly sets these were-roosters off? What do you mean? I mean, is it a full moon, something like that? Well, they're the least understood of all the were-creatures. Rumored to exist since the beginning of time, but nobody knows much. I'll tell you one thing about all these were-creatures, though. They're about survival at any cost. Any cost. What about vampires? What about them? You said you hunted them. Yeah, but they don't exist. They just don't know they don't exist. What? It's, uh, complicated. Sounds like quite a life. It's been interesting. Oh, shut up! Shut up! You see, this is how he does it. He tells you all these stories and makes it sound all so glamorous. 
But you lured him here. You lured my dad here, and now he's dead. And all these people are going to die, too. All for your Dan hunts. Listen, Stan. No, you listen. I've admired you since I was a kid. But you're a fraud. All you care about is you. He's not even a real colonel. He's a Kentucky colonel. That's an honorary title for a businessman. You don't make your fortune on internet stocks. You sell fertilizer. He's the biggest shit salesman on the East Coast. He sold you a lot of shit. He sold you a lot of shit. He sold you a lot of shit. And you sold my dad a lot of shit. Now he's dead. Well, my dad never had the nuggets to stand up to you, Ralph. But I do. My nuggets are solid gold. <laughs> what are you laughing at, pretty boy? Solid gold nuggets. Classic. <laughs> I'd like to see that, am I right? I bet you would. It's jumping trees. I don't, I don't see anything. You won't. Not until he wants it to. It's warning us. Of what? We're all gonna die. Come on. Come on! I think I winged it. Damn it. We're too late. No, it's headed back for camp. Everybody grab a weapon. Come on, we're going after this thing. Come on, let's go. So, you're really not going to go find this thing? No. Okay. Mind if I do? Not at all. Cool. Okay. You could come with me. I don't think so. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. I'm going. Okay, then. Won't go find this beast on my own. You'll be all right. Oh, I'll be all right. Yep, I'm going. Okay. 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 What a toad. Do you think we're going the right way? Yeah, I think the werewister went the other way. Good. I did not come out here to die. Here is as good a place as any. How about no place at no time? Interesting idea. I want to ask you a question. Sure. Do you like women? Are you kidding? I love women. I love everything about them. So it's just me you don't like? No. I like you a lot. Actually, I was thinking I'd like to get you alone. Really? So it wouldn't make you uncomfortable if, if I did this? Uh... Only because of the hardness in my pants, you know what I'm saying? What about if I took this off? Oh, yeah, baby. Why did you say a thing about the yellow shoes? What? My sister. She wore yellow shoes. It seemed like an odd detail. I'm standing in front of you, like this. And you want to talk about shoes? Guess I need to capture more of your attention. Oh, wow. Now that's more like it.
like the rooster took flight here. It's getting dark. We better head back to camp. Where's Charlotte and Bobby? They haven't come back? No. I'm sure they're fine. We followed the blood trail west till the rooster took flight, but I didn't see it double back. You're never wrong, are you? Holy cow. He's dead. The where is it? Just, it just came and took him. What happened? We were distracted for a second, and next thing I knew, I was coming to beside the rock, and he was gone. God, I must have hit my head. Yeah, you did. That is a nasty bump. I think you're going to be okay. Man, it's really bleeding, though. I don't think all this is mine. All right, let's go get him. Well, shouldn't we wait till morning? He could still be alive out there. And you're never wrong, are you? Listen, Stan, this has got to stop. I didn't order your dad out to these woods. I didn't ask any of these people to come out here. But right now, right now, there could be someone alive out in these woods that could use our help. And we could use all the eyes we can get. Are you gonna help or not? Yeah, I'll help. We get out of here. You all and right. I are done. You hey, understand? You, guys me? Find some you understand? Charlotte, show me where you were. I don't understand why I can't get a lamp. Why do I gotta get the stupid green flashlight? I told you, Stan, we only have so many lanterns to go around. And this way I can keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on you? I don't think Bobby's alive. I found a leg. I say so. Hey guys, I think I found something. What is this thing? Oh God. What? What is it? It's his pecker. Oh! He's been deboned? Is that normal? No. This is way beyond normal animal behavior. This is a message. I gotta go. Stan, no! It's broken. It's broken bad. Yeah, it's bad. Give me a big stick or something. To sh we got rope and pain reliever back at camp. Oh, then we'll get something out. Stan, help me. Go, hand me a stick. Hand me the bourbon. Here. Hand me my bourbon. Two, three. 
Charlotte, I need you to tie the rope around the splints when I get them in place. Oh, are you in charge now? Have you got a better idea? Good. Now we got to get him stable enough to move back down to the dock. The boat's not coming back for two days. That boat. But the shopkeeper got here somehow. And if, if we don't find that one, maybe there's one we can flag down. Anything's better than being out here getting picked off one by one. Stan, can you shoot? I'm betting you can too. Good. Let's make a carrier and put him in it. I need two really good sized branches. We've got enough rope, we should be good. How are we gonna carry him out in this? There's only three of us. I could drag him out in this. It won't be the most comfortable ride, but it'll work. You two will carry the weapons, and you can guide us out the same way you guided us in. Okay, let's go. Stan, try to keep up. Don't worry about me. Stan, when we get down to the river, you're gonna have to take us hot. I don't think you'll want to. Listen, he was your father's friend. You have to help. His leg is broken because of you. I know. You think I don't know that? But if he's the reason my father's here, he's the reason my father's dead. If you don't do your part, we won't make it across that river. That won't be on him. That'll be on you. You're right. You're right. Listen, when we get to the river, we'll both take him across together like a team. Right. You know, my father used to say it was things like this that him and Ralph experienced that made him so close. Well, that's them and not us. I just want to survive this. I don't want to like you because I don't want to care if you get killed. Watch out. Where are we? We left the campsite. We're headed to the dock. We're going home. Why? We're way too exposed here. Where's Charlotte? She went ahead to scout. Hey, Ralph, let me get you some water. I'm hurt, Stan. You're bad. I'm a sitting duck for this chicken. You ought to know. I did talk to your dad before he came out. He wanted to hunt this thing. I paid for it. He was only supposed to scout it out. Report back if you saw any signs of the were rooster. After all the things we've hunted, I thought he'd be okay. But he didn't call in, not once. No. I think he killed him as soon as he got here. No. No. Oh, Stan, I'm sorry. Stan! God, get me off of this thing. You can't walk on get that me, leg. Yeah, Stan. I can. Give me a walking stick. That'll work. Come on, help me up. Help me, Stan. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Shut the fuck up. It's okay. Stan, it's okay. It's going to be okay. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Stop. Stop. Stan. Stan. Smart bastard. He's, he, he's big health. It's okay. Where's, where's, where's my dad? It's okay. Stan, hang in there. Stan! Stan, no! Come on! Stan! What happened? We've got to get out of here. We can't go that way. Something's blocked the path. Well, then what are we going to do? There's an old abandoned farming here. I think we should go there. That's smart. You need to get out of the open. Well, let's go. No. This ends here for me. I'll buy you some time. I'm not leaving you. I'm killing this thing. That's the plan. And if not, I'll buy you some time to get to that farm Charlotte's talking about. Now give me that gun. Good. Now get out of here. No. He's right. I don't want to die out here. He'll just slow us down. She's right. Get going. Come on. Hey. You watch that girl, boy. She's no damsel in distress. But she knows the way out of here. You just watch yourself. Come on. Come on, chicken boy. Time to face Colonel Sanders. <laughs> shouldn't have left him. Let's go. Buddy, help. Take your backpack off. <laughs> we can't see anything in these dark woods. Well, the field's just right over that way, and the barn's on the other side. Let's go. Move. Stay here. I'll check it out. I'm right behind you. I don't think this place is abandoned. Charlotte. Are you okay? Is it the rooster? Don't panic. Let me out. Uh, and why would I do that? It took me all night to get you in there. Huh? He's invaded your home. Go around back. What's going on? What's going on is simple. <sighs> to think that you were the one that survived. I had high hopes for Colonel Sanders. The irony would have been delicious. What are you talking about? Let me out of here. I'm talking about survival, buddy. We are a species built to survive. And our current rooster is too old. He's not up to servicing us all. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You're a... Yes. Where hen? Yes, well, you're not as stupid as I thought you were. And... And all of this is just some sort of sick audition? Well, that's a nice way to put it. I mean, of course, I didn't think you would be the one left standing. But then again, you didn't really have a lot of competition. Lou turned out to be a she. I thought about adding her to our little flock, but she proved... And Bobby was an entirely different case. I mean, was he gay or just a virgin? I had to find out. Now that's more like it. Oh, God, no, I can't! And why not? You're a girl. I'm sorry. I thought so. 
I just thought you might let something slip about my sister if I seduce you. <laughs> Your cover wasn't that great. You don't think so? I thought I really butched it up. No. Well, I tried my best. I spell my name with an I for crying out loud. I thought I did pretty well. Sure, but there's a problem. No. No, I just can't help it. I love cock. I mean, you should put it like that. So do I. But you're not the cock I'm looking for. He was still useful to me. Well, parts of the world. And the bartender, even he wanted in on the action. That guy's just weird. Where's Charlotte? She went ahead to scout. I saw you. I saw you kill Bobby. I know what you are. Yeah? You're a were-hen! And what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. There's something I want you to do for me. What? Take me! Excuse me? I wanna be your rooster. I want it all. Take me! But you're allergic to it. It's nothing. I really want this. Take me! Okay. But there's a ritual. Okay, what do I do? First, close your eyes. Now, pull down your pants. Okay. Now crow. Crow? Crow. <laughs> Perfect. Now repeat after me. I, I am, am an idiot. <coughs> you proved to be the most adaptable and desirable. You survived when the others didn't. You really should be flattered. Flattered? Yes. Do you know how much planning went into this? I had to kill off 20 people just to get enough male members out here in the woods. You killed them. Well, the rooster's good at a few selective things. Or it used to be. Planning and execution, not so much. Let me out of here, bitch! Bitch? Just like a man. A woman gets assertive and suddenly she's a bitch. No, no, it's the murders that make you a bitch, you freak! I told you, that was about survival. You'll come to know my softer side when you kill the were-rooster. He's coming around back. What? That is why you are here. You have to kill the were-rooster. He who kills the were-rooster becomes the were-rooster. No. I'm not killing anyone or anything for you. I think your survival instinct will handle that. And if you don't, if by some stroke of luck he kills you... We'll just start over. It's really no big deal. I'm sure I can kill off another group of campers. Enough to get another group of males out here. I'm not killing him. Well, suit yourself, but he's going to try to kill you. And when the beast is on him, he's good at two things. Sex and defending his territory. There's a really big knife in the middle of the barn. I hope you reach it before he reaches you. Damn it. Oh, you'll like it. There are lots of us werehens, and you get to have sex with all of us. All it costs is your humanity. And that's really not too big a price to pay for all the tail you could ever want, is it? For what it's worth, I hope you win.
I know you. You're Stan's dad. I saw your picture. Yeah, I'm Stan's dad. Stan. 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 Is Stan here? Is Stan, is he? You killed him. Yes. Yeah, I killed him. Why, well, he was disrespectful to Ralph. I killed him. I killed Stan. I killed my only boy. I killed Stanley. I killed him. And Colonel Sanders. <clears throat> <laughs> I killed my son. <laughs> I, killed Stan. I killed Stanley. Well, I tried to kill myself. I tried to kill myself, but it didn't work. It didn't work. I can't. I didn't know. I didn't know. You. 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 You've got to kill me. Release me. Kill me, please. Let me go join my son. Let me go be with, be with Stanley. No thanks. If I kill you, I replace you. I'm thinking more along the lines of grabbing this machete and walking right out that door. Then I'll kill you! Ugh. No, please! Please, Jesus, you now leave his son. Jesus, you now leave his son. <laughs> A father should not leave his son. Please. Well done, buddy. And now you get all of these beautiful ladies. And, you know, Bobby, if you're into that sort of thing. No. <laughs> about survival, and he didn't threaten that. And I get to be with my sister. And he's got some great ideas about decorating the house. A house? Yeah, it's up on the hill there. You know we're really close to town. <laughs> then whose body did you chop to pieces? Oh yeah, that was the bartender. He came in on me and Bobby when we were making our arrangement. The stuff about him wanting to be the rare rooster was true, though. It all worked out in the end. You lied. <coughs> you lied about everything. Yeah, I'm sneaky like that. Mm. Okay. 
dance at your wedding. Uh, Thank God I'm the one getting married. You can dance at mine. Mr. won't let you kill me, buddy. We've already been over this. Go back to bed and get some sleep. We'll go back for round two after breakfast. Are you done? Couldn't kill them. What are we doing? Are we escaping? Her hair is blue. Really? I thought I felt different last night. No. We're not escaping. We're gonna have a barbecue. And you get to be the cook. But I never learned how to cook. Listen. I can't kill them, at least not directly, but I can kill you, and a very large part of me already thinks that would be a good idea, something about eliminating the competition. But my sister. Your sister? You were here last night. You looked into her eyes. Was there anything left in that thing that lives in there that resembles your sister? No. Then let's barbecue.
Wait, where are you going? Away from all of this. Can I come with you? Right. Homicidal urges. Gotcha. See ya. Smells like somebody's cooking chicken for breakfast. Where are you headed? Away from here. I got lost camping. I've been wandering around those woods for days. Oh man, well get in. There's a town just down the road. I'll take you there. Will that be a problem? Hmm. Well, not if this is not. Deal. Thank you. Get in. I bet you're happy to get out of those woods. There are some spooky stories about campers that have gone in there and they they didn't come out. And you look like you've had kind of a rough time of it. Yeah, it was rough. You see any bears? <laughs> there aren't any bears in these woods. Well, there's something in there. Yeah. Something. Darkness, cause there ain't no light in here. Standing in the darkness, cause there ain't no light in here. And tonight it spreads its wings just like an angel. From where I stand, it's really hard to tell. Am I looking at an angel or the devil's latest spell? Are you beating me to heaven or did you come to drag me down to hell? Are you beating me to heaven or did you come to drag me down to hell? I've never met my maker, I don't think he has the time. There's a man way down below that claims he's a friend of mine. Walking in the valley of the shadow we all know I never made it out to Jordan, nobody's praying for my soul I never made it out to Jordan, nobody cares for me, I know And tonight it spreads its wings just like an angel 
where I stand, it's really hard to tell. Am I looking at an angel or the devil's latest spell? Are you leading me to heaven or did you come to drag me down to hell? Are you leading me to heaven or did you come to drag me down to hell? Tonight it spreads its wings just like an angel From where I stand it's really hard to tell Sometimes our only angels are the devils in ourselves So are you leading me to heaven or did you come to drag me down to hell? Are you leading me to heaven or did you come to drag me down to hell? 